Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live daily photo show on YouTube every weekday morning, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. And yes, I do normally talk this fast. That is completely and totally normal. It is not the caffeine. So today's show is all about this thing called Snap. The Snap mode, Snap movie mode. And you're thinking, what the heck is a Snap movie mode? And people calling me, I always get the unknown calls in the middle of my show. Uh, the Snap movie mode. And this question came in from Teresa Leggett. And this came in on the, um, in the comments in the, on the, another video asking what exactly it is, how to use it. She basically had some issues getting it to work right and wanted some assistant with it. And I thought, why not? Let's do it. It's not even worth the Q&A thing. This is a whole show onto its own. So we're going to talk about this cool little Snap movie feature. So as always, if you are watching live and you have a question pertaining to what we're talking about today here, then uh, at Photo Joseph in the chat room. If you hit that at Photo Joseph in there, it shows up nice and big and I get to know exactly what you want to ask. And if you don't do that, then I miss it and it goes by and then you get mad at me because I didn't answer your question. But you got to type at Photo Joseph and you have to spell it right. Every once in a while, I'll catch one. It's like at Photo Joseph and it's, I don't, it doesn't show up in red on my screen. So I don't see that. Also, of course, if you want to get my attention super big, there is that little dollar sign at the bottom of the chat window. That is the super chat button. Click on that thing. And oh boy, howdy, that does get my attention. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get into the snap movie thing. So first, before we even show you how to turn it on, let's explain what it is. So snap movie the best way, I think, to equivalent this, uh, the, as far as a use case goes, is it's much like live picture on your iPhone. For anybody who's got a late model iPhone, you know that you can have live picture mode enabled, which every time you take a picture, it actually shorts a tiny, it shoots shorts, shoots a tiny little movie. It's like two to four seconds, I think, depending on how much you're moving the camera and stuff like that. And it's really cool. You end up with some really neat little, oh, I meant to shoot a picture, but now I've got this little movie vignette and you can choose a different frame. And it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cute. So Snap Movie is kind of like that. Instead of shooting stills, you can enable Snap Movie so that every time you push the button, it takes a little movie instead of a still picture. And the movie is a predetermined length. You choose how long you want it to be in advance, and there's some other things you can turn on or off, and of course, that's what we're going to look at here. But that's effectively what it is. Now, the, the only problem, and it's a kind of a big problem, um, I was digging through, I was looking at the manual, I wanted to make sure I really understood this and understood the reasoning behind it, because I'd seen it, I'd, I'd never actually used it myself, to be honest. The problem with Snap Movie is it only shoots it in HD. It doesn't shoot it in 4K. Now, I've, I'm working with the GX85. Uh, Catrice's question was about the G85. I downloaded the manual for the G85 and verified the settings identical between the two cameras. So GX85 or GX80 in Europe, or uh, so, uh, what was the GX7 Mark II in Japan? Don't know why that is. Anyway, that's this model. Or if you've got the G85 or G80, you have the same thing. I have seen the Snap Movie in other cameras. I think it's in the LX100. Uh, it might even be in the GX8. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's not in the GH5. This is kind of a, a consumer feature. But, uh, but the feature, you'll have to look in your Lumix camera if you have a Lumix camera to see if it's there. Anyway, so its biggest problem is that it shoots HD. It's not 4K. And so you really are ending up with quite a low resolution thing. Now, part of the intention, intention is that you'd shoot a bunch of these and then transfer them via Wi-Fi to your iPhone and using the Lumix app, you can blend them together, make a little movie vignette, which I honestly have not tried doing. Uh, I would imagine it, it, sure it works, but it's probably not the best experience in the world. If you wanted to have real movie editing experience, you'd import them and bring them into iMovie. Even iMovie on your iPhone or on your iPad would be an awesome experience. But um, but it is shooting on the HD. So I'm going to show you how it works. And uh, obviously, it'll be up to you whether you decide you want to use it or not. Um, Marvin's already asking if this works on the GH5. I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I would have to double check. My GH5 is out in the card. So I've got to shoot right after this. So um, I, I don't think it's in there. It's like I said, it's kind of a consumer consumer feature. Okay, so let's see how it works. Um, let's switch over to the GX85. So we'll go into the menu system. And under the movie, the motion picture menu, so you get your camera record menu, motion picture menu. It is on page one of five, and it might be in a different place on the G85, but that's where it is here. So snap movie, enable that. So obviously it's gonna be off by default. You turn it on, but you know, you gotta set it, right? So let's go into the set. All right, so set. So you have three options. You have a recording time from two to eight seconds. And remember, the whole point here is that we are, we are saying how long the movie's gonna be in advance. So that means you're gonna push the button once and it's gonna record for two, four, six, or eight seconds. Um, so that's, you got to know that, right? Okay, so then it's just we're going to go for a four second. And then pull focus is quite cool. It is very much like the 
the focus transition feature on the GH5, where on the GH5 you set uh, point A and point B, and you can actually set point C, and you can determine the time it takes to focus between them, and it allows you to do focus transitions or focus pulls very smoothly, very cleanly, very accurately. It's that idea, but it's a much more rudimentary version of it. And of course, I'm gonna show you how to, how to do that. But from the menu here, all you can do is turn it on or off. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it on. And then you have the fade. Now, I, I gotta be honest, this is not something I would recommend using. So you have color out, color in, Blackout, black in, white out, white in. Those are your options in here. And so what this means is if you do, say, white in, then the, the video is going to start with a total white screen and then fade into your scene. Or it's going to fade out to white or start black, fade into your scene or fade out to black. Which is great if you want to fade in and fade out and you know that that is the last shot you're going to put in your movie or the first shot you're going to put in your movie. But... It seems to me that that's, that makes it really limiting, right? Because if you do a fade out, fade to black, and then you decide, oh, you know what? I want another shot after that. Well, now that other shot doesn't really work, does it? So I would really not recommend turning this on. There's the other one in there, the other option. So you got fade in and out of white, black, and then color, which is, I, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of, okay, now I'm, now I'm really being opinionated here, but that's a little cheesy to go from black and white to color. It's like, ooh, it's, you know, old movie to, well, I don't know. Um, Again, you could do all of that in post later. So you could do that in iMovie or whatever editor you're using and you wouldn't be locked in. So I really would not recommend using that. So I'm gonna turn it off here because I think it's, well, I'll, I'm gonna turn it off now. We'll, we'll look at the snap focus thing and then I'll come back and turn it on just so you can see what it looks like. All right, so we are going to leave that off. Okay, so pull focus is on. Uh, record time is set to four seconds. Now, when that's when this is on, look in the top, uh, where's that on your screen? Top left corner, you see it says snap four seconds. So I know that snap is on, but I can still take a still picture like normal, right? So the snap, what this is doing is it's telling the movie mode to be snap mode. The movie mode, see, I don't have a close-up camera in here right now, but there's the little red button on top of the camera, and you'll find this on the G85 as well and on most Lumix cameras, frankly probably all, there's the red button, that's what records video. So even if you're in a still shooting mode, that's what you push to record video. On a camera like this, there is no dedicated movie mode. You're, you're always in both. So you, the big shutter button takes pictures, the little button takes video. Um, I think it's the same on the G85, but I could be wrong. I don't, I don't actually have one of those bodies. And uh, obviously if you're on something bigger like a GH5, then you have a dedicated movie mode and you also have the red dot. But again, this feature probably isn't in there anyway. So. My point is that you can still, even when you put in snap mode, you can still take pictures, take still pictures like normal. Just push the shutter button and take a still picture. When you push the red button, that's when you're going to get the snap mode. And so you can see on there, again, up in the top right corner, or top left corner rather, it says snap four seconds. So here's how the focus feature works. I touch on the screen where I want the first focus point to be. And then I drag, touch and drag, where I want the second focus point to be. And that's it. And now when I push the button to take the video, it will do the focus transition. And that's all there is to it. So then I, I recompose, I look at it, let's set this up differently, let's, let's go closer, we'll do a different shot here. Uh, I, my T stuff gets so much use here. I'm going to tap on the back, uh, the back T thing, and then I'm gonna tap and drag to the front teacup, and then push the video button, and it records a four second snap as it rolls through from focus point A to focus point B. And that's it, That that's, that's a snap movie. That is all there is to it. So now let's take a look at some of the other options, mainly the ability to do the color thing. So we're gonna go set, let's do a fade. Let's do a white in, so we do white in, okay? So we're gonna set that up. Let's get the shot recomposed. We'll do, I'm also gonna do the focus pull. So you don't have to do the focus pull. Oh, and incidentally, uh, well actually, hold on. I've, well hey, we're gonna try this because I actually don't know the answer to this. So I'm gonna tap to set that focus point, drag to set that focus point, push the video, so there's your fade in while it does the focus pull. See, like really, I don't, yeah, no. I just don't think it's a good idea. So now, let's see here, if I touch, yeah, you can see the focus pull points are still set. So as I recompose, it should still maintain those positions. And it kind of did, I mean, you couldn't really see it because of the fade thing. But it does seem to maintain that position there. Let's see if it'll do a focus pull off here. I'm gonna put something closer. Let's do this in my hand, hit it again. And do it. I guess it missed the hand. Well, anyway, so I would, you know, I would do a proper one if I was going to do that. I would tap and then tap and drag to the hand there, push the button, 
and do our focus transition with the white in, white in and away you go. So that's it. That's all there is to it. So again, you can choose between, on your durations, you can choose up to eight seconds. There we go, eight seconds, as little as two seconds. And you get these little mini video vignettes. That's all there is to it. Again, sadly, it is only shooting at 1080p. That's the biggest bummer to me. If it was shooting at 4K, you Ultra HD, then I would say, you know, this is this could be kind of cool, right? You're, you're out and about, instead of shooting stills, you shoot in this snap movie mode and you can always get, even if you set it to two seconds, every time you push the button, you gotta remember to push the red button, every time you push it, you get that little couple second long, little mini movie. Um, and if it's 4K and it's, it's high enough shutter speed, you can extract frames out of it, but alas, it is not. So probably not the most useful feature in the world, but it is there. If you decide that you want to play with it, obviously you've got it and you can play. And that is it. That's it. That, that's, that's the whole extent of this thing. So we're going to hit the questions on, on, um, on here in just a moment. Let me just mention very quickly for those of you that uh, weren't here in the pre-show, the GH5 training, the first videos are now available. So these are available for download. It's all of chapter two, part of chapter three are up there. We've got a bunch more that we'll upload before the end of this week. So the first bits are out there. If you haven't got yours yet, head over to gh5training.com. You can still pre-order it, but you'll be able to get the pre-order price up until the last video is done, and then the price will go up. Now, of course, remember that this is also gonna be available on lynda.com, so if you don't mind waiting, it will be on Lynda. Once everything is done, it gets handed off to them. They do their QA, and then off it goes. Or Q and QA, Q, QA, not Q&A. Gotta get the right one there. That's it. All right, let's see what's going on in the comments here real quick, see if there's anything related to this, and then we're gonna roll out of this show and into the commentary. Uh, Marvin says, when you take a photo or video and finish the red memory card icon is telling you that it's writing to memory. Yes, that is correct. The red memory icon is telling you that it's writing. So just to see what he's talking about here, let's go to back to the screen. Um, I will go ahead and push the, let's do a, do a transition from there to there. You know, I have to turn off this this white in thing that's gonna bug the crap out of me. Let's go for the black and white. We'll do color in. No, let's do color out. Color out, it's fantastic. All right, so focus A to B, push the red button. There you can see that little red memory card icon under the counter that is telling you that it is writing to the card. So in this format, it's done writing the instant it's done recording, it's really quick. If I put the camera into, let's see it's in raw right now, if I shoot a bunch of stills, let's see if we can make it take longer. Uh, let's see, yep, yep, you can still see the red icon there. It's still writing to the card, still writing to the card, still writing to the card, still writing to the card. And okay, so there you go, it's still writing to the card. <laughs> Eventually, that will go away and that will tell us that it is done writing. There you go, and it's gone, and now it's done writing to the card. So yes, that's what that little red icon means. It means that it's writing to the card. If you're on a, uh, a more higher end camera, a more pro camera, you're gonna have a bigger buffer, you're gonna have faster uh, clear times. The GH5 supports the UHS-2 cards, so you get really fast clear times. So you'll see that less and less. Obviously, lower end consumer camera, everything's not as fast. So, so there's that. Okay, that's it, that's it. We're going to, uh, we're gonna jump out of this into our extended uh, commentary part of the show. So if you're done thinking about that, we're done with the show. If uh, you want to see the uh, extended questions, basically anything you guys want to know, and of course questions about this might come up as well, then uh, if you're live, if you're watching live, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And if you're not watching live, then you'll see the commentary button come up uh, during the Foursquare, right in just a moment here. With that, we'll see you in a few minutes. Bye.